And we are back, folks. We have Linkameister this time around, who's going to be showing off some Junkoid. Take it away. All right. So, yeah, I'm Linkameister. Uh, this is a Metroid ROM hack, the, the OG one for the NES, called Junkoid. It's made by P. Uh Music is made by Mindflower. So, uh, it looks completely different. The main character also doesn't look like Samus at all. Uh, main character is called Junko. And uh, he attacks with a wand, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get all the items in the game. Uh, unfortunately, there's like no percentage thing at the end of the game. Unfortunately, so I just need to hope I get everything. Uh, but other than that, I'm gonna count down from three, and then I'm gonna start to run. So we're gonna go in three, two, one, go. There's a, there's a story or something. I don't. I don't really know what the story is. We need to defeat a serpent. That's that's like the the, the quick explanation. So we're just gonna run around, collect items, kill some bosses, shoot with a wand. Uh, music is different. Everything looks different. There are no, like, new physics changes or something like that. We use an elevator. We're gonna be there way later in the game. For now, we're just not gonna ignore it. I'm gonna get inside the water and get the missiles. In this case, it's the baseballs. Not sure why baseballs, though, but it's, it's the missiles. I'm just gonna be running around. Hopefully not get hit here. Good, or else I have to listen to the beeping noise of low health, which is kinda annoying. Having to listen to that. So the items are the icons are different. Here's the rat cloak. It doesn't say rat cloak. Uh there's a super metroid junkoid. Uh it's called rat cloak in that one, so. It's definitely the rat cloak. You can see why. There we go. We transform into a rat instead of having like Morph Ball. But it's basically just Morph Ball, but we transform into a rat and we can go into these little holes. Oh yeah, now we have to listen to the beeping noise. Right, there's a doggo right there. We're gonna go to the doggo soon. So yeah, you have to listen to a little of the beeping. It's kind of annoying. It's because I got hit by that one enemy. Such an annoying sound. More baseballs. Not going to really be using the baseballs that much. I will be using it at the bosses, but other than that, it's... And a, f a few enemies. It's not really used that much. Not sure why the enemy is down there. The enemy never comes up and you're not even able to get down there. So... Yeah, there's the doggo. It's uh, w waggling its tail. And now we got an E-Tank. It's basically just... It's an E-Tank, but uh, in this case it's just a heart you get. So no more annoying beeping noise, thank god. I hate to listen to that. Ooh. Hopefully, I'm not going to get hit too many times. Now we still have to deal with this short beam. Oh. Pretty sure anyone who has played the original Metroid, the physics aren't that great to deal with. I actually never played the OG one. I only do Romex. This is one of the two Nestroy Romex I do. Hey, right, now we're gonna get uh we're gonna get a feather. I think it's Brock's feather. It's just high jump. So now we can jump really high. Really useful. You get it early on. Are we gonna get hit downwards? Nope. Not this time. Cool. I'm gonna go up. Oh, 
keep forgetting I need to be on the left here. Soon I'm gonna get my long beam. Yeah, getting hit, it's perfectly fine. As long as I don't get hit too many times. Hey, there's an elevator, we're gonna go down there soon. I need to collect a few more things before I actually go there. More baseballs. Ah, these enemies. <laughs> oh my god. Like an item here, then I'm gonna collect long beam. Not that long beam is that useful, but it helps, especially when you get wave beam. I will see Simmons as a mouse now. <laughs> Here's a bangle. Now we have long beam. Yeah, she attacks with a wand. To the enemies so they don't hit me. That one barely, like, I barely missed that. Early miss me. So we're gonna go down the elevator. We're gonna go into trench. Pretty straightforward if you know where to go. There's like it's just you go like you could say like in a straight line. Nice. My input just got eaten. Cool. Let's not fall down here. There we go. Oh. Sometimes I just forget which room I'm in. Just forgetting the layout. I'm like, oh, where am I? Yeah, just gonna tank the damage. Hit this one so it doesn't hit me. Cool. There we go. Yeah. Jump was a bit too high. Didn't make the platform. Oh, come on. Stop dropping my inputs. Or I'm just too slow. Yeah, that enemy right there just flies into the wall and just dies. <laughs> Has no chance trying to hit me at all. It just flat out dies. There's another one later on that does the exact same thing, just flies into the wall and just dies. Get rid of that one. Kind of annoying, you don't really hear the music that much because every time you grab an item, it just starts over. Our lie is kind of annoying. Oh yeah, that one doesn't die in one hit. That's right. Soon I'm gonna get a very suit anyway, so I don't have to worry about getting too much damage. Alright, for now I still don't have bombs. I won't be able uh, I won't be getting bombs anytime soon, so. Oh yeah, there are uh what are you calling those? The the hot springs. Yeah, there's a character in the hot spring. There's a hot spring and uh, there's multiple ones. In each one, there's a character. I uh, don't think the characters have any names, but there's one in each of the hot springs. Oh, right, now we have a pink dress. In the case, we have a various suit. Oh, right, sometimes there's an enemy in this room and sometimes just not. I have no idea. Why? Let's not fall down. Ooh. That was close. 
Oh yeah, now we get a Tanuki from correct. Just wagging his tail. There's more of these little like characters you're gonna see. So there's one. There we go. Yeah, he is the enemy. Just sneak just sneakily behind the blue foreground. You can barely see it. It's literally just hiding there. And we're gonna fight a boss. Uh, the boss does have a name. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. I don't even remember the names anymore, so... But uh, we have to fight a penguin. He's looking mad, though. The lag is ridiculous, though. I hate it. I hate the lag. It's so annoying. Stop. Yeah, I need to hit my baseballs. Or else I have to wait till the baseball hits something before I'm able to shoot another one. It's kind of annoying that you have to wait. So you cannot spam the missiles, unfortunately. Just need to hope that you don't shoot one all across the room, because then you have to wait. But yeah, that was the that was the first boss. It's dead. Absolutely destroyed. Could have been a better fight, but uh just RNG. With the projectiles, the boss shoots. So nothing I can do about that. Uh One more item in this area, and then uh, I'm out of here. There we go, that's uh last item for this area. Ooh. Thought I thought I didn't jump there. Got rid of the enemy. He's gonna Doesn't matter, he still pushed me forward, so that's cool. Oh. Just barely didn't make it. And we out of trench. I have no idea what's happening with the sound right now. I have no idea what's happening with the music. This has never happened before. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's happening right now. Rip the music, I guess. Uh, let's hope it fixes itself. Why are the sound effects and this is normal? Oh, there we go. What the hell? L okay. Never happened before. It, I've never had that happen before, that the music just breaks. Cool. Thanks, game. That's a, that's a new one. Yeah, I had no idea what happened. Cool. You know, we're gonna go into hard. Thank god it fixed after getting an item. I'm just confused why it happened. That was pretty odd. Oh my god. It's bad RNG. <laughs> More collecting. Because why not? Ooh. Ah, no. Get out of there. Don't stay in, in... I think it's blood. Well, we're in an area called heart, so I assume it's blood. I overjumped it. Okay, good, good RNG there. <clears throat> oh my god, bad RNG. <laughs> Thanks, game.
Cool. And now I don't have to deal with that enemy. Ah, just die. No, it didn't. Nice. The lag. The lag. <laughs> that was not my fault for falling. That was the lag. Because the lag I let go of jump too early. Didn't expect it to lag there. Oh, yeah. The hot springs uh, heals you. Nice, I got the snipe there. Now I don't have to deal with those enemies. There we go. Oh, okay. Just don't. Am I gonna get hit? Nope, cool. Yeah, we go basically left and then down and then right and then down and then left and just... Basically, uh, that's the area for, for now. Hmm... And more item collecting. Let me get in my way. Oh, enemy, please. Ah, almost got it. I did, didn't. Did, nope. Stop. Enemies. <laughs> that would have been perfect, but I just completely missed my jump. Oh, yeah. Uh, invisible platform. You can only see because of the enemy. Ah! <laughs> Do not want to fall down. Not that it kills me, but it's super slow to get out of there. Yeah, you can only see the platform. Quote, unquote, see the platform because of the enemy. Going around it. Nice lag. Ignore my input. Oh no. Gotta love lag with Nestroid. For sure, typical Nestroid. Yeah, I don't know if I'm not even able to, to make that jump. I just have to take the blob bath. Just waiting there, or else I run into that enemy, flying around. Oh, come on, morph. Yep. Every now and then you see the uh, the color glitch. Oh yeah, here's another little thing, like, a, it's a jellyfish. And there's more. Oh yeah, one of the bosses is called Jake. And... what was the other one called? Yeah, I know one of them is called Jake. Not sure what the other one was anymore. Maybe, maybe it pops into my head, eventually, or not. If I had my splits open, I would have known. I think the other one is starting with an E. And now we're gonna get uh, the wave bangle. Jake and Elwood. Yeah, there we go. See, I knew the, the other one was with an E. Jake and Elwood. I'm not sure which one is Jake and which one is Elwood. But, uh, yeah, th those are the names of the bosses. Jake and Elwood. Get the deaf side. It's basically screw attack. <clears throat> Not like it's really that handy at all. It's kind of useless. Maybe it maybe helps at a few spots, but other than that, it's not that useful. Yep, 
been a it's been a while since I last did this run. Only did a bit of practice earlier. Now we go into I have no idea what the name is of this area. It's purple. It's a purple area. That's all I know. <laughs> Literally no idea what the name is. See if I can get this jump. Oh, I still managed to get it though. Well, not the jump I wanted to do, but I made it through before it actually respawned. Oh yeah, we're gonna get bombs soon. Of course, that w of course <laughs> hit the block like four times in a row, just miss. Ah, uh, I want to want it to do. We're gonna get bombs, or in this case, it's gonna it's called different. <clears throat> in this case, it's called uh, rad burst. Well, at least that's what it's called in uh, Super Junkoid. Now we can lay bombs. Oh yeah! Uh, funny thing, uh, I can't see my missile and health count. I do see how many uh, E-Tanks I have. But you don't see the counter at all. It's just question marks. That's a thing of this area. Gonna use the red burst to boost myself up here so I don't have to unmorph and then morph again. Oh yeah, here's another one. Here's here's a female penguin. She's friendly. Don't know what the name is, but she's a female penguin. Cool, this enemy is not inside here. Nice. <laughs> don't have to deal with that. Of course, it gets stuck in the loop there. Nice. <laughs> Mikulet. Nice, my D-pad. Why? Why? Why is too sensitive? Jim. Again, this is like a... It's like a maze, this whole area, but if you know where to go, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, I got propelled off left. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Way enemy. Nice, I got the jump. Cool. Uh, of course, it's just barely... How did that not hit the block, bruh? I swear that shot hit the block and it just did not destroy it. That's lame. I That should have hit. That was definitely a hit. I don't... No idea. Just, just have no words for that. <laughs> oh, lame. Nope, but there you go. Oh yeah, the one who created this hack is in chat now, Piyashi. He's the one uh, who created this hack. Shout out to him. See, here, here's a spot where Square Attack is actually useful. <laughs> one of the few spots that's actually useful. Of course, only one block is destroyed. Nice. Yeah, okay, it didn't, didn't work out. Oh, okay, whoa. Did not work out how I wanted it to go, but... Oh, well. Yep, we're uh, at the next boss. 
Nice jump. The lag is real in this one. How did that not make the jump? I literally don't really have any strategy for this button. Shh, the, the lag, please. Stop the projectiles. <laughs> this is so annoying. I hate this one. Let's just jump. Please. Ugh, the lag is real. Stop. There we go. Jeez. It could have been way better, but... uh. Oh well, he's dead, finally. Again, it could be better, but yeah, I have to deal with this considerable lag. Projectiles too, it's, it's kind of annoying. Also the arena, for, well the room for that boss is pretty big though. Go, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Did not know. Now I know. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> that was perfect. Nice. I had like an E tank and 94 health left. Mm. Could it be much worse? I really hope I have every item so far. There's no way of checking. Please, lag. Stop. Oh. Just jump. <laughs> there we go. Ah, nice. I got the jump. Cool. And there we go. Hey, at least um, at least the music is still normal this time. Uh. <clears throat> oh yeah, the enemy goes crazy. <clears throat> and what does killing the both bosses do for me? You're gonna see what it does. Also, using a bomb here to get up there, just a little. Optimization. Killing both bosses gives you Ice Beam. So technically you don't even need to kill the bosses at all. You don't... It's, it's technically not needed. You can do the final area without Ice Beam. So... But uh, yeah, this is 100% so I need to collect them. Collect them items. So we're gonna go towards the final area. Shoal. Gonna go into Shaw, final area. I could technically check if I have like 150 baseballs. That's the total amount I should have. There's a recharge right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stand there and wait for like a minute till it recharges <laughs> my baseballs. Ain't no way I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna hope that I have everything. Literally, just there's no indication at the end that, that you have 100% or not. Not even a different screen. Oh, yeah, there are the Metroids. They're, they're hands.
And you got your, like, typical Rinkas just flying slowly towards you. Being annoying. All right, we're gonna get luck to last item in this room. There's no... Oh, <laughs> of course. There's, a, like, a little indication on the ceiling and the little drops that fall onto the platforms to know where the platforms are. Yeah, here's a cat. Here's another animal. He's just chilling in this, this area. There you go. Last item. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't need a hand. Get, no, my input. No, I don't need a hand. Go. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, I'm gonna soon take a shortcut. But yeah, you don't need Ice Beam. You don't need to kill the Metroids. Nope. I'm gonna take a little shortcut right over here. You don't see it, but it's there. It takes me right where I need to be. I have 35 missiles. Do I even have enough? Well, doesn't matter. There, luckily, there is a recharge in the final boss room, so... If I run out of missiles, there is a recharge in the room. I'm gonna actually take the recharge just to... I'm gonna take a little bit of recharge here. There we go, it's enough. Should be. Yeah, this room isn't as bad as uh, vanilla. Yeah, that was uh, not a bad fight at all. Yeah, that's a serpent. The, the, the serpent has a name, which I don't know anymore. But uh, yeah, that's the final boss. We just, uh, just have to escape now. Let's get out of this area. Let's skedaddle. Yeah. Time is coming up really soon. Time is coming up. And time. There we go. Oh yes, Modius. Yeah, that's the name. It's Modius. That's the name of the serpent. Congratulations, you've done it. There we go. That's uh, that's Junkoid's 100%. At least I hope I got 100%. Which there's unfortunately no indication in the end of the credits. Also, no like in-game time doesn't show in the credits either. So. Anyway, uh, that's Junkoid 100%. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, that run. And uh, thanks for having me. Awesome. Thank you very much for showing off some Junkoid. And uh, we are staying in the realm of Metroid, though that was a ROM hack. We are moving on to a Metroid race. So stay tuned for that, folks.